Okay, well, I got this um, new Optiplex uh, 780. You can see right there. You see this hole was right here. Used to have this disk drive in it. <laughs> <coughs> but what I wanted to do was add a um, second hard drive, a hard drive from my old computer, to add it in. And all the videos I watched said, if you want to do that, you have to take this drive out, and then behind it, there would be another port. Well, in this particular one, there wasn't another port. But the connections that fit this fit the Dell hard drive. So what I did was I took that out and, whoops, 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 easy, don't tip it over, put in my second hard drive. As you can see right there, that's my drive. That's a 500 gig drive. This machine came with like a 30 gig drive, but I left it in there. It's fine. It's the original operating system and everything like that. And this connected with those connections and I put it in there. But what I, what I saw was that on the back of it, and on the back of it was some connectors that were exposed and I didn't want it to short against the metal of the original drive. So I took a big piece of packing tape and I made a loop out of it on the sticky side, stuck it to the back, and that also helped hold us in because there's no structure in there that can hold that drive in. So putting that sticky tape on there insulated those connections and it also made it so that I could put that drive in there. It stuck right in there and I connected it with the connections that went on the back of this thing. And there you go. Easy as that. Now, if you want to know how to open your case, you just pull this tab and the side falls off. It's fairly simple. You can look at any YouTube video for that. But that's in there. Both drives are working. Um, I did do what one video said, and I went into the hardware settings, which is you turn on the computer and then you hit F2, F2, F2 over and over again until you know you get that set up but really it just set itself up i don't know if i really had to do that or not but i i went ahead and did it anyway and clicked on okay and w clicked out of it and i was able to uh this drive here is a 500 gig drive whereas like i said before the original is a 30 gig so i put that extra in there and i think what if i dig into it a little more i can actually use the extra ram that i had uh the extra gigs from this 500 gig drive to actually make the computer faster because this computer is actually very slow. So I, I think I can do that. I haven't dug into that part yet, but that's how I did it. I used some sticky uh, packing tape to insulate those connections. And I also used the stickiness to stick it to the other drive. So it'll stay in there good. I don't know, I'm not gonna shake it very much. And what I'm gonna do with this space, well, I'm not gonna do anything with it because I took the drive out. But you can actually buy a USB to uh, connect this uh, back up. I don't have a lot of use for a CD drive. I mean, the last two computers I have didn't even have one. And this one happened to. But I'm, what I'm going to do is just get the connector for that and hook it up to the front here. You know, whenever I need to run a DVD, you know, watch a DVD or, or load a program that happens to be on... A, a, an optical disc, you know, that I'm just gonna have to leave this space open, but that's kind of good because the airflow here is gonna keep the computer cooler and it's not gonna draw in that much dust or anything like that. If you know, if you're OCD and you want to put some black duct tape over this, that's fine, you know, whatever, you know, whatever makes you happy. Um, just wanted to share that with you. That's how I did it, kind of quick and dirty, didn't take long, but you know, it works. <laughs> All right, thanks, bye bye.